read my comedic essay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wrote a uh, short comedic essay about uh, Chex Quest. So, Chex Quest, Chex Quest, Chex Quest, Chex Quest. So it's come to this, eh, folks? We've gotten this desperate, this desperate for gaming content. And we gotta make a game about a cereal? A cereal, for Pete's sake. Oh, what's next? A game about my beloved Black Lab Mix Rosie? Actually, that's not half a bad idea. Write that down. No, I kid, I kid. I actually really love Chex Quest. I really do, folks. I really do. Yeah. I really do. I really do. Yeah. I spent a lot of time playing the damn thing as a young chappy. I remember as a young Canadian immigrant, freshly moved to the terrible state of Arizona, going over to my now deceased Californian pal Evan Fisher's house in first grade, and spending many hours enthralled uh, by shooting lasers at goo in a walkie-talkie from a disc found in a cereal box. I think it was the first actual computer game I ever played. If you don't count Ribbon, the sequel to Myst, which I certainly don't, that game sucked! <laughs> no, no, folks, no, no. It, it really was a blast of a game. Uh, I remember loving the idea that it felt like a super violent first-person shooter, yet it was also a little cereal. It was part of a cereal. I think I must have been tempted to chomp down on it at some point. But it's certainly more fun to play that than with your cereal. Because playing with your cereal would probably just involve dumping cereal in your ass and calling it a day. Huh? <laughs> no, no, but, uh, but yes, this was a game. The rare game that was based on a pre-established intellectual property that was actually good. <laughs> I was always tempted as a kid by all the games based on movies, cartoons, and even sometimes foods. Remember that series of M&M games? Of course you don't! You're not an idiot! <laughs> You're smart people! You give yourselves a round of applause! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> these games always invariably sucked hard made your ass. So this was the rare game that, and maybe it was just because it was doomed with goo and a sense of humor, it just kicked me flat on the ass. I later purchased the Little Nicky game for Game Boy Color, and that one was just atrocious. I don't recommend the Little Nicky game for Game Boy Color, but uh, even now, as I'm saying this, I legitimately am still tempted, <coughs> thinking about its super-saturated, colorful box art and the prospect of playing as Adam Sandler as a hellbound demon. Actually, maybe I do recommend Little Nicky for the Game Boy Color. That sounds like a wonderful game. The Chex Quest was one of the first times I remember feeling fully immersed in the universe. The music, the sound effects, the first-person perspective, the thought that I was witnessing something completely unique and foreign to me. It excited me as a child, and given its accessibility and universal distribution to children across America, all you needed was your mom to buy you a box of cereal. Healthy cereal at that. I think it was a game that provided a sense of interactivity, fun, and imagination to many people in my generation. It's a weird, weird game. But the game's internal logic makes perfect sense. Dollars and cents. The game was a hit, folks. They sold so much of that terrible cereal because of this game. And let me tell you, checks taste like cardboard and ass. Not the cinnamon sure. It's pretty good. Well, cinnamon checks is all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Regular checks is pretty boring. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh, and don't get me started on those final levels, folks. What the fuck was that shit we were hopping around in? Honeycomb or something? God damn! Bunch of weird orange garbage on the walls mixed with that green goo alien fuckers? Felt like I was in a Nickelodeon wet fever dream or something. Well, kids love goo, and I was no exception. Gimme goo goo. I was never able to play any of the sequels. I was not originally aware of the second one, which was released as a download on the caveman-esque official Chex Quest site in the terrible year of 1997. Nor was I aware of the fan-created third installment in 2008, which recently became official uh, canon just because the Chex Corporation decided it would be. Hey, unpaid work and a free product cashing shamelessly in on nostalgia? Their game! But if I had to guess, the sequels probably involved the main character exposing their genitalia and violently urinating all over a child's bowl of Chex Mix. Probably, that's what they are. Because that's what they represent. A desecration of a classic. To me, there's only one Chex Quest. And that's Chex Quest. 